We're going on a bumbo cruise. Hi, I'm Kim, and this is my husband, Wei. And two years ago this week, we gave up our apartment and hit the road for a life of full-time travel. Nearly a year later, we challenged ourselves on top of the Great Wall of China to visit 60 countries by the time I turned 60. And that leads us to country number 14, Singapore. We made the most of our short stay in the Lion City by traveling nearly 60 miles on foot in just five days. It all started by following the one-day itinerary recommended to us by the Singapore Tourism Board. Since we only have a few days in Singapore, we decided to follow the recommendations from the Singapore Tourism Board and we are taking a one-day tour through 50 years of Singapore history. Of course, to do that, we need some nutrition, so we're heading to the Yakun Family Cafe for some Kaya Toast. Kaya is a coconut and egg jam and it is a traditional Singaporean breakfast. The Kaya Toast is a fusion of British, Chinese, and Malaysian foods, which is so typical here in Singapore. So what happened was the Chinese workers that were on British ships were making toast, because that's the British um, breakfast, and then when they were in Malaysia, they discovered this jam, so they combined the two, and it became a Singaporean dish. Let's go try it. You know it's good when there's a line. <laughs> The two kaya toasts that we ordered is one with cheese, um, it's cheese and the kaya jam, and then the other one is butter with the kaya jam. And, um, he seems to notice a difference. I don't really notice that much of a well, difference. There's a lot of butter. The cheese one has no butter. And I actually got a little overpowered with the butter taste on this. So the cheese is my preference. I prefer the butter. So, Kaya Toast is amazing. <laughs> it is. Put it on your list. Our next stop is Pudang. I think that's how you say it. It is a combination of old and new Singapore, and I'm sort of excited to see what that looks like. Me too. We'll be there in about 10 minutes. We made it to Padang, which is this beautiful open field in the middle of the city, and it's surrounded by incredible architecture from downtown, as well as these beautiful colonial buildings, um, which were built in the 1800s. Right behind me is the former Supreme Court building, which is now the National Gallery of Singapore, and it's where Singapore gained its independence in 1965. All right, now we're headed down Old Parliament Lane to check out the statues of Sir Stanford Raffles. It's starting to heat up a little bit outside, so anytime you can walk through an air-conditioned building, take advantage of it. Sir Stanford Raffles, him, he is so famous here in Singapore. In 1819, he came to Singapore. It was this tiny little fishing village, but he saw the potential at the crossroads here between China and India and Indonesia and the Malay Peninsula. And he founded Singapore as a city and the rest is history. The next stop on the itinerary is a cruise on the Singapore River. And that I am looking forward to. The breeze just picked up and it is so lovely right now. Singapore has the perfect weather. going on a bumbo cruise. We're 
on what are called the bum boats, and these boats originally were used to transport cargo up and down the river, and mail as well. And today, they're just for tourists. Right behind me is the merlion, which is part mermaid and part lion. minute cruise on the Singapore River, it is now time to head towards Chinatown. We made it to Chinatown and we are on Pagoda Street. Chinatown is probably the place to get souvenirs and what have you from Singapore. There is tons of clothing and electronic gadgets and just about everything you can see and right now they're getting ready for Chinese New Year celebration this weekend so there's a lot of great stuff. And there's also great food here as well and different types of food from all over the world including Chinese. Okay, after wandering the stalls of Chinatown, we're leaving without buying anything, which is quite amazing in itself. But now I'm we're very proud of Kim for that. <laughs> but now we're headed for lunch at the Maxwell Hawker Center. And Hawker Center are the place to get the best food in Singapore. When you're hot and sweaty, you actually have no appetite. We just finished lunch and I will say we ordered the curry rice with vegetables and tofu and I really like the flavor. It was a much more mild curry flavor than I'm used to and there wasn't enough of it on the plate if you ask me. It wasn't spicy at all. It was just good and inexpensive, about two American dollars. So. Yay, us! Our next stop is Sentosa Island, and we'll need to be taking the MRT to get there, so we'll see what that's all about. After we got on the MRT station in Vivo City, we found our way to Sentosa Island. What we didn't realize is that you have to exit the MRT and get on a monorail, which is on a totally different level than the MRT. So anyway, we found it eventually. We are here and all I can um, say is that this is like a big, huge <laughs> adventure park on an island. It has everything, beaches and cable cars. It has Universal Studios. Indoor skydiving, shows, um, zip lining, yeah, everything. Great for the family, obviously. <laughs> I don't know why we keep drifting over here. Um, and it's got some really nice beaches, as you can see behind us. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go get a drink and an ice cream and hang it on the beach. There you go. Cheers. 
this is a great place to both relax and to have a great time. But now we sadly have to head out and our next stop is the Singapore Flyer. Yeah, and I will say that what made our little visit here the best was the cloud cover. <laughs> Some shade from the sun was really welcome. And there's a great breeze here too, so it's really quite pleasant. We were headed to the Singapore Flyer, however... It is under renovation. That is so sad. Until further notice, they said. So sad. Now, I feel like we need a drink. That would be another drink. So, let's go have one. Singapore is famous for a lot of things, but maybe most famous for the Singapore Sling. And you can't come to Singapore without having one. It was invented in the Raffles Hotel before 1914, that's all they know, by a bartender that was requested to make a special summer drink, and he concocted this Singapore Sling, which is now world famous. And it really is the perfect mix of everything you need on a hot tropical day. Cheers. With our Singapore slings, we are calling it a day and head back to our hotel. It's a blend of old and new Singapore. I was going to hit my bus there. <laughs> the Malay Peninsula. We love Singapore. How do we know? I've only been here for 12 hours. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs>